So, found out why you don't put uh, silicone type or just resistance, regular resistor automotive wires on a magneto. It's because it'll do, well, hold on. Get you a better image here. It'll do this. Now you can't really see it well, but that's all black and charred inside there. Um, no, you can't see it. But, yeah. It's all sorts of black inside that. Hold on, I got one of these older wires here that you could probably... It's like the silicone, the, the, they're like these, almost like hair. Well, apparently mags don't like that. Um, I noticed after the tractor wouldn't start, I was going, man, what, what the heck is going on here? Why won't the tractor start? You know, I'm like, it's a firing problem, what's going on? You know, I, I just pulled the coil wire, the wire that ran, ran from the top of the mag into the center of the distributor, and it was black. And I was like, uh-oh. What is doing that? I have no idea. And the guys over at farmallcub.com said, uh, oh yeah, see, that's why you don't put <laughs> regular resistance type automotive wires on magnetos. They don't like them. And I thought it was weird because I had these wires on here for a couple months now and there was no issue like this. I mean, it seems like it happened overnight, you know? And then I remembered. Last, uh, month I replaced the uh, coil I got a new coil for that thing so my theory is that the new coil um, was just pumping out a lot of electricity it was new the old one was the old one from back in the day and it just you know burned through the new the, the new one just burned through these wires the old one was probably not putting down enough voltage for it to cause a problem but they could have been they could have explained why this thing might have been such a hard starter anyway the new this new I got this these wires at tractor supply and um it was the universal here it is right here universal spark plug wire set now they did have a um a kit for like farm all it said it said, inter it said it said international harvester and then in the back it said like we'll fit like super c super a blah blah, blah all that stuff and the problem was and the reason why i got this kit is because of this copper core these wires are solid or they're a tinned copper um the other ones they you know they will fit a Super A or a Super C if it has a battery ignition. If it has a mag on it, it's a little deceptive. If your vehicle has a mag on it, then no, it won't work on your Super A because it'll burn right through them, as we all know. So, I bought this kit, and the, what I really didn't don't like about... Um, now this is just a personal preference. Is I don't like these 90 degree bends on the plug on the plug ends. I like those straight ones like this. Um, so my solution is I'm actually taking these straight boots off, like that, just pulling them off, and then I'm taking this, I'm like uncrimping this, and then I'm just putting it on the uh, the um, the new wire. Uh, you can use straight boots, and I've, I've already placed two wires, tested it, it worked good, so that's that. These these brass, uh, and I've also been using the uh, things on the other end, on this side. See, these are different. These are for a spark plug, and these ones are just for going into the distributor. I've been using these ones instead of the ones they gave me in the kit, because the ones they gave me in the kit are really weird. Maybe I'm just not doing it right, but they also, they just suck. Um... They're these like brass, and they got a uh, this like hole in the center. And it's weird because they don't give you the instructions to give you are total crap, and it just shows them putting this over the end of the wire. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was supposed to put the wire through that hole, which 
wouldn't make any sense. Or if I was supposed to, like, um, bend the wire over and put it inside uh, between those uh, clamps and then crimp it down. Well, I tried that, and, and then I just to test it and see how well it would stick inside. I had this old Cub... Not, it's not old. It's actually brand new. I never. I, I was an idiot and bought the wrong uh, um, distributor cover. That's, this is from a while ago. And I just tested one. I put one in there, you know, on the wire. I put it in there, and I could not get it out. It actually pulled the wire off of this thing before this thing came out. And I had to pull it out with a pair of pliers. And the end result was this. They got all beat up. So I said, I don't want to use that. Even though it may have a good connection and I could use it like that, the fact that I couldn't pull it out, it pulled the wire out because the little barbs they have on here don't very they don't stick to the wire very well i said i'm not doing it that way so i'm putting the old ones these ones on on the new wire which are working so far <sighs> so that's something to remember don't put solid or don't put the resistance regular automotive silicone type wires on your magneto because you'll burn them right up. All my spark plug. And then underneath my cap, my rotor cap, uh, I got some carbon on the points here. And I got carbon on the on the actual rotor itself, too, that I got to clean off. Because it's just that resistance was just burning them up. Well, hopefully, I haven't checked my, uh, uh, my points. They were points and condenser I, I replaced... Uh, about six months ago. Hopefully they're still good. I haven't checked the points, but I probably will anyway to see if there's any buildup. If there is, I can probably just, you know, clean it off. But hopefully these new wires will be the end of my my uh, cat. The end of my cat. Yep. All right. End of my issues.